Okay, let's let's uh, let's do a little more water. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this stuff. So, last video I did was about this little guy. I think it was the last video. Maybe it was two videos ago. I don't remember. I don't keep track of this stuff. <laughs> Sog Power Pint. I'm relatively unimpressed with it. A lot of you seem to love it. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys found a tool you love. Um, you guys were super polite in disagreeing with me. I appreciate that. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to uh, be right. I'm just here to share my opinions. I'm not a product reviewer. Um, some of you have complained on especially the video about the uh, digital pouch from MDOM that it takes me like 15 minutes to get in that video to open up the pouch. I want to clarify something. The way I do things on this video is not, I'm not here to make slick videos. That's why I don't edit. I'm just here to give you genuine, honest opinions, unedited, raw stuff. And this is more like a podcast where I talk about stuff that I think is interesting and I allow you to look at it while I'm talking about it. But I'm here for the conversation. I'm not really here to, you know, this way is this and it's this long. There's plenty of people that do that and they're excellent at it and I watch their videos too. But that's not me. I'm doing things my way. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to comment, even when you don't agree with me or something, you don't like something, that's okay. You know, that's that's the way things work. Power Pint, something a lot of you love. That's awesome. I'm keeping mine around. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spend the time to go through the process of doing the uh, magnet that some of you suggested. Brilliant idea. I just don't think I'm going to use it enough to care about that. Ranger Band works just fine. Plus, I love having a Ranger Band around. Uh, you watch enough of my videos, Ranger Bands are one thing that shows up often. Mostly because I bought a bag of them and I'm looking for excuses to use all of them. <laughs> but this is not an everyday carry option for me. It's just the form factor doesn't work for me. Um, you can watch the video for more reasons. Those of you who love it, great. What my go-to used to be was this. This is the Swiss Champ from Victorinox. And uh, one of my frequent viewers and a YouTube person that I would consider a friend outside the target demographic, uh, when we were talking about these two things, uh, he made a very good point that I, being on the Victoria Knox side of things, tend to agree with is once you have a Swiss, it's hard for the quality of other things to compare. And, uh, you know, case in point, First of all, not that big of a size difference here. Now, thickness, of course, yes, big size difference. Weight, big size difference. But length, nearly identical. And we're gonna go further with this, but I just wanna make a point here. Uh, well, that would've worked, but there's the blade you get there. That is the blade you get there in the same package. Now, it's not really about length, that's what she said, <laughs> but it is about the quality of the blade. Almost all of you, as much as, as those of you who agree, that, or those of you who disagree and say that you like this tool, even those of you who said that, said the blade's not great. It's not terrible. It's not sharp, I can fix that though, but it's not great. This, arguably for me, as an EDC, now this isn't a survival knife, quality you know this isn't an se that you can put a lifetime guarantee behind or a boker but this stainless steel that they use this blade it's pretty great it is pretty great i don't think when we talk about swisses we talk about the blade often enough but um, i've owned many swisses i do own many now and almost all of them come out of the box almost ready to shave hairs or split hairs they're sharp they stay sharp for a long time they're pretty damn durable blades and you got a damn good warranty so if you break it you get a new one so that's what i mean when i say once you have the quality of this it's hard it's hard to be convinced in the quality of this now if you never if you owned a swiss and you didn't like it then yeah, you know whatever then you're more convincible than i am but the big thing for me here is this. Now, I do want to say before we get off the topic of the SOG and we move on to the main topic, which is the climber, 
which is a new knife that I'm carrying. The scissors on this seem to be, I can't even find them, <laughs> seem to be of incons inconsistent quality in the sense that one of the people that commented said that theirs were great and that they cut through paracord no problem. Um, they did have a problem with me comparing this and saying it won't cut through there. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying it'll cut through the bracelet. I'm just saying if you look at it as one strand, which is just that one piece that I have there, it barely fits in the claws here. Comparatively, I can fit almost anything into these. You know, the, I can't do that here. I'm not allowed to do that here, literally. I can't do it. I'd have to take the spring off to open the blades more. And the other thing about this is, when I said inconsistent quality, these out of the box, this will cut through paracord one snip. Boom, done. No problem. The ones that I have, the other person had great ones. Mine, these suck. Uh, maybe I should get a piece of paracord. Okay, to be fair, I'm actually going to do an edit there because it took me like four minutes to find this. I didn't even find a, a full 550. This is a smaller one. I don't know what you call this one. This is a smaller paracord. Okay, paracord though. Still standard paracord, just smaller. Here are the scissors. Here we go. Let's get up close so you can see what's happening here. Look at that. You see that? This thin one, what does that take? Five? Choose to get through there? The last time I tried to cut a 550, 12. Choose, not cuts, choose to get through it. That's why. I say that the scissors are inconsistent. Those of you who say it worked great, not my experience. There's the physical proof. Okay, so let's move past that. Didn't want that from everyday carry. This I love, but it's overkill. I don't need all those tools every day. And it's heavy. And I don't like having heavy things in my pocket. And I love this. This is the manager. I love this little guy, but I mean, I don't have to worry about the blade because I have a, a another knife on me always. This little combo tool with the screwdriver on the end, the Phillips screwdriver, it's great, but it's it's only great for small screws. You've got the nail file with the tiny little flat head. It's tiny. Scissors, great. Knife, all that. Nice little package. It's just, I mean, half the size and way less the width, right? Perfect to just toss anywhere but doesn't handle enough situations. I did carry this for like a week and a half just to see like, am I right? You know, like th this is a basic tool set to me right here. Knife, which I usually have on me, but we'll just say it. knife, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and scissors, tweezers. Those are some pretty basic tools to me that I think I need on an everyday basis. Is that true? So I carried it around, you know, can I get by with this? The answer was no found myself in enough situations where those screwdrivers were just not big enough. I don't do a lot of that stuff, but it was just enough that this wasn't enough and this was too much. So I started thinking, man, what am I going to do? And maybe that was in some way what this was an attempt to do. But I think the answer was find something between these two. And that's what I did. It's in my pocket. I actually have to take it out of my pocket right now. I'm carrying it right now. This is the climber. Let's get these out of the way. This is the this Victorinox climber, which honestly I didn't even know existed. And I didn't intend to buy this at first. I was originally going to buy the Explorer, which is, this is a, a three layer Victorinox. Once again, this one here. This is, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven layer knife. Three. Um, the Explorer was four. The Explorer comes with an exclusively inline Phillips head. And then on the other side is a magnifying glass. And I was like, well, that's pretty good. You know, I guess I could find reasons to use a magnifying glass. I'm getting older. I like having the inline Phillips. But then I was looking for something comparing the Explorer to something else. I can't remember what it was specifically. Ended up on a Reddit thread and somebody was talking about the climber. I was like, what the hell is climber? So I went and looked at it and I started thinking about this. Can this do the job? And first of all, I could, this is incredible to me. This, 
This thing is almost as light as this. The, the SOG Power Pint is heavier than this. Almost twice as heavy. That might be an exaggeration. I think this is approximately six ounces, and this is approximately three. If I remember correctly, I think it's like 2.6. I, I might be wrong. I looked at a lot of knives when I was going through this. So if I remember incorrectly, I was going to move those off screen, but I kind of like them there. Let's talk about what's in here. Remember, oh, oh, 15 minutes before he gets into the bag. Okay, fine. Let's, let's open the knife. <laughs> Here's the overkill section. To be honest, um, I have an everyday carry knife. I don't need another knife, but you know, there's that uh, one is none and two is one and one is none. Okay, well, now I have two. I have a backup blade. And then I have a backup blade for my backup blade. <laughs> so uh, to be honest, I've, when I was looking, if I had found a Victorinox in this form factor that had all the tools that I want right now that didn't even come with the blades, I probably would have bought it. Um, I'm Honestly, I, I don't know why Victorinox d doesn't make some of those. I think it would be interesting. What we have on the bottom, some stuff that I probably won't use very often, but good to have, an all reamer slash threader. We have the parcel hook, which is something people like to make fun of, but you know, sometimes you do need something. I, I screwed in something the other day with added a hook on it, and I used this, and it worked pretty damn good. Could have done it without it, but it was nice to have it. Corkscrew. Another thing people make fun of, like, how often you open wine? You know, like, yeah, I know. Most of us aren't Swiss or French. We're not opening a lot of bottles of wine. The reason I wanted the corkscrew is because I bought, I just have not received, the Fire Ant. The Fire Ant, which we will probably look at once we get here, is going to put in the place where you would put, same space you would put the little, um, there, let me show you. This one doesn't come with it. But this one does since it has plus scales. Are these plus scales? Yeah. There's the pen. It comes with the mini uh, screwdriver for glasses, which I got in there. It was kept slipping out, so I put it in there really tight. Just a little tiny screwdriver for doing uh, little tiny screws. And uh, I always thought that was the most clever, clever thing. The other thing is it has the pin. You have that pin right there. This one has the pin hole. It doesn't come with the pin. Victorinox, come on now. What does it cost you, like, less than a penny to give everybody that has the pinhole a pin? Come on now. It's not a selling point. People aren't going to be like, you know what, I got the Swiss champ because the climber didn't have the pin. Give me a break. <laughs> but the, the Fire Ant in that same space, that same size as that, and actually the same form factor as that, it's going to look just like this, except this part's going to be a ferro rod. And then the bottom part, will be a tinder that I can unravel. So I thought that'd be, that was nice instead of having to carry around a lighter for those just in case scenarios, I could just have a, a little bit of a fire tool here. I don't need much. I don't use it very often, probably never, but it is just in case. I'm also trying to get myself into the habit of using the Victorinox toothpick, even though I made fun of it in the past because you know, you're putting something in your mouth with mouth bacteria and then you're putting it in this nice dark little hole and I carry around a lot of wooden toothpicks and it's a pain in the ass to carry around wooden toothpicks so I'm going to try to learn to use this or just to leave stuff in my teeth <laughs> no pen on this because it's not a plus scale which by the way the difference on the plus scales too is from what I can tell this this is harder I think this is denser because this is very can you hear the tapping difference there we're, we're on the same side of the knife. There's only one uh, one tool, so this should be the same design. They're the same size, same thickness. It's just this, I don't know. I mean, they're both plastic. For some reason, this maybe because the knife is light, this feels more plasticky. I don't care, you know, whatever. But just wanted to point that out. I have my tweezers. I like the tweezers. I use the tweezers a lot. But let's get to the main part of the knife. The reason that I decided that this would do. First of all, we have the scissors and they're much bigger than the scissors that I had here, which these were passable. I, this was enough. 
I could get through paracord with these little scissors. Scissors that are half the size of the scissors on that. They cut better. And I can get through zip ties and I can get through paper. These little scissors are great. I can even clip my nails, which I probably should have done before I started this video. But these are twice as big. They're the same size as the ones on here. So these are great. I already know from that knife that these are great scissors in this size. Then we've got the flathead slash bottle opener slash some people say pry bar but you have a joint here so you probably don't want to do too much prying with that maybe open a pan of paint pan of paint can of paint this phillips head is awesome it's the bigger one it works great it's in line no complaints about that at all the other side we've got the can opener and the smaller flathead now if you've been paying attention, you might be wondering, I thought you said having the flathead and the Phillips was important to you, and that's why you were considering the Explorer. Mm -hmm. It's true. I watched a video actually about the Compact, which is a two-layer Swiss Army knife. That's very, very popular and very overpriced. By the way, this was $28. The Compact, which is only two layers, is $60. Do not buy the Compact for $60. Do not buy the compact for $60. That's a ripoff. Plain and simple. It's probably a great knife. It's a Swiss. But for the amount of tools that you get on that, $60 is a ripoff. Do not buy that. Get it used. Don't buy it new for $60. Bucks. That's ridiculous. Or get a knife like this for $28. Or the Explorer, which I think was like $32. It's ridiculous, the price on the compact. <laughs> but the compact has what they call the combo tool which is kind of a combination of these two so it looks similar to this except this part is on the bottom uh, so it functions you know you have a sharpened part here so it functions as a flathead a can opener a bottle opener and a wire stripper they're all in one now I watched a video where somebody was talking about does the compact actually handle Phillips screws? They said, yeah, theoretically you can screw Phillips screws with this. And it depends on the size of the Phillips screw you're dealing with. And in the video, they pulled out one of these, the inline one, which is great. It has a different head than the one that you would find on another knife. Like I think the Tinker has one here. It's a Phillips head and it opens up into a T, which gives you torque, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to use unless you need torque. And it's different, it's rounded. It's not as robust as this one is. So they, the person had uh, a guitar pedal. They said, okay, here's four basic um, Phillips screws and they're not in super tight. Let's just see how all the tools handle it. So it started with this one. This one did the best. And then they did the one here. That one did okay. They did the one, the combo tool and the compact. This did not do it well at all. You know, you could get away with it, but it was a pain. But you know what did almost as well at doing the Phillips as this did was this. So while I said I'm not screwing and unscrewing things a lot, not enough to decide on a knife just based on whether it has this, I could easily subsist on this in those situations where I need it and I don't have other tools with me. Because my basic everyday carry is a minimalist everyday carry. I try to carry as little as possible you guys have seen the video before and I had a lot of stuff. I've considerably reduced what I actually carry on my person to the exact or as close to I can exact tools that I need. And what I say as close to as I can is I wouldn't put the parcel hook and the all on my list. I wouldn't put um, four knives, you know, four blades on my list, you know, my everyday carry blade and then the two here and then the 
utility blade I have. I wouldn't put all of those. But, you know, sometimes you get some tools extra. So they're on there. But I'm down to as much or as little as possible. And then all the other stuff I put into another, um, in this case, a fanny pack. So if I need to level up, we've talked about modular before. So this, as far as a multi-tool, is all I need on a day-to-day -day when I'm running around, I'm doing stuff uh, around the house, I'm going to the store. This is all I need. When I need to upgrade, I have this. When I need uh, more pliers, I have this. You know, this is in one bag. This is in another place. When I need something less, you know, maybe I'm going to a wedding. Maybe I'll just take that. But for every day, after a week so far, I'm finding the climber to be perfect for me. And it's so light that I just toss this in my pocket. And, you know, people like to say it disappears in your pocket. This really does. I don't feel this at all. Maybe it's because I was used to the weight of this. But this is just, it's wonderful. So I can't recommend the climber enough. If you haven't heard of the climber before, it's one of the lesser appreciated Swiss Army knives. But I think it deserves a little more love. <laughs>